Hello and welcome to another episode of Bike Social Full Chat. We're on location today here at Silverstone, standing in the pits, and they've recently resurfaced the entire Grand Prix circuit. Now this is only good news. Last year, Marc Marquez did a sub two minute lap and already Cal Crutchlow is talking about everybody else being able to achieve that feat. Well, who better to talk to about that and about his season so far than the Brit himself? Here's Cal. <laughs> Thanks very much for joining us. No problem, thanks. Mate, um, congratulations firstly on your uh, win in Argentina uh, and Poland in Jerez as well. But you've had a bit of a topsy turvy season, it'd be fair to say. How do you sum it up? Topsy turvy? <laughs> um, yeah, we're only four races in though, we've got 15 left. You know, it's, uh, it was an exciting start to the year. Testing went very, very well. The first two races went well, obviously. Texas was going well, performance wise, is in speed and also Jerez, but I didn't finish them two races mm. and that's the way it is. Um, we have to accept it, move on, and uh, I look forward to Le Mans this weekend. Yeah, and uh, and how are you looking forward to Le Mans? Have you got stuff to, to, that you've been testing with? Are you, the bike works well at Le Mans? Yeah, we, we tested straight after Jerez uh, on the Monday. We tested on the Thursday in Mugello. Um, it's been no, no rest, and then we go straight after Le Mans to test at Catalonia. Um, and obviously I'm here with you today at Silverstone. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's, uh, we've got no new parts on the bike, no. Um, but we're always trying to refine the setup as best as possible to mm. try and figure things out because sometimes you can try th some things for 10 laps at a test and don't know, don't know if it works very well. Then we go to the next track and it may work. So we try, you know, different lengths of the bike, springs, you know, um, stiffness of, of the chassis all the time, mm. you know. Um, that's just our job, you know, that's what we, what we have to do. But in the end, essentially, the bike is the bike and we know what it does with them different settings. It's just a different circuit, so maybe it acts a little bit different. So Le Mans, the bike works okay. I think uh, some of our rival manufacturers, their bike maybe suits that circuit a little bit better than ours. But we know that Honda's working superb this year, you know, at, at most circuits we've, we've been to, um, we've, we've found it. The speed easier to come to than last year. You've been with the same team with LCR for four seasons now, uh, into your fourth season. Is there something to be said about that sort of longevity, that feeling of being part of the team? You know how everybody works, that comfort. Is, is that all? That's all beneficial, right, for, for the you know World Championship uh, goals that you have. Yeah, it's always good. Um, you know, in my third season in Tech Three when I was there, that was my best year. You know, and if I would have stayed a fourth, I really believe that that would have been the year to. Challenge for the top three in the championship, maybe not have won the championship, but been there. And then I went to Ducati, and then I came to this team, and it took me a couple of years. But yeah, I believe that uh, this year's going to be better than the last couple, and I have to believe next year will be better than this mm. one. You know, it's, it's you get to know those guys inside out, and, and they know me inside out as well. But you never stop learning either. You never stop learning new things with the, with regards to the manufacturer or the bike, and that's what makes motorcycle racing so great. I have a great group of guys and team around me in LCR and hopefully this year, you know, we can aim for that top three in the championship and you never know, you know, what's gonna happen. Now we're here at Silverstone, they've resurfaced the entire circuit and you've been rolling around on this little machine. Is there anything you can get feedback wise from this uh, to, to give you some kind of advantage or to, you know, in terms of well, let's talk about the surface first of all. Is there anything you can you can say about the surface here? Is it is it easier, better, faster? The surface is great. You know, um, Silverstone have made a real investment in MotoGP uh, in the circuit. You know, they, they've really listened to what we need over over the years. You know, because there were so many different pieces of tarmac that were put together, and there were different grip levels and bumps, and they've made one now. Mm -hmm. And and there's a lot lot less bumps. Um, so I'm obviously very, very pleased with that. I will go back to MotoGP and give that um, information to them so that they don't have to come here and try it either. But overall, we've um, yeah we've had a successful day with regards to riding this bike sure. and also testing the testing the, the new surface out. Um, but yeah, I've been uh, been impressed with what they've done. I've been impressed with the enthusiasm that they've got as well for MotoGP sure. and and. Um, as I said, the investment that, that, that they've put into this is, is massive. Do you think, um, I mean, Mr. Marquez went under two minutes uh, in qualifying last year. Is that something that can be achieved, do you think, on with this new surface? 
I would put a big guess out there and say 57 something. 57? High 57, because if you take how long the lap is, if we have a good weekend, so, you, know, you have to yeah, have a good weekend. Yeah. I would say a high, if he's done a high 59, uh, and maybe you, because in looking at Hareth, we took, we were taking a second a lap on last year, mm. and that was resurfaced. So you have to say it. With the length of this The stage, length yeah. of this track, I could be way off. I could be, you know, we stay in the 59s. But it's definitely not going to be slower. So I'll keep sure. that five in my pocket for now then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and mate, compared to the other circuits on the Grand Prix calendar, where does Silverstone rank for you? Has it changed now that we've got new surface? Yes, definitely. Because, you know, I think we were always looking for, you're always looking as a motorcycle racer for a track with character. And we found this track quite hard to ride because there were so many bumps, so many different situations you had to manage every single lap. Um, where now it seems that we've got that consistency all the way through. Um, there's, honestly, there's no better place in the world to ride when, when it's on, you know, when, when the track's in great condition, the, the, uh, the weather's good. You know, we have fifth gear corners, we have first gear mm. corners, you have a 210 mile an hour straight. It, you know, it's got a bit of everything here. I always look forward to coming here and, uh, and trying to put on a show and, and doing the best job we can and this year it's going to be even more. Sure, just a final question then, if you uh, give me some advice to a first time I come in to watch the Mudder GP at Silverstone, where would you say to uh, go watch, where would you tell them? Where do you enjoy the most, that's about that? The last corner, <laughs> if yeah. I'm in a good position, but I mean, um, yeah, that last sector, that, la that whole last sector at the end of uh, the Brooklyn, you know, into Brooklyn and um, onto the start and finish straight there is, is superb. You know, I think the atmosphere is always super great. But anywhere around the track it is as well. But, you know, just that, for me, just that point. And if you're new coming to my OGP, you know, I've always said, come and see it, come and see what it's about. Because for me, it's the best sport on earth, of course. It's what I do. Um, but whenever anybody comes as well, they end up feeling the same. And uh, that's what we want to do is try and get... Uh, MotoGP and, 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 and motorcycle racing yeah. on a, uh, a big platform in the UK. Look, we wish you all the best for the rest of the season. Thank Cheers. you so much for joining us. Thanks. Cheers.